Hey guys, it's Greg from The Current War here. Got another attack from our last war to share with you. Um, so right here, what we have is a pretty common base that we've seen before. So this is one with the Town Hall, the Expos, and Queen kind of isolated in the middle. Um, what we see is four kind of bigger containers out here on the sides. Typically, not always, but typically there's one giant bomb in each kind of next to the Wizard Tower. Obviously, you got to respect the double in places like that. Um, we got the elbows on each side. Uh, and then kind of Queen is by herself a little in, in the middle here. So let's go ahead and see how Kirk attacks this base. We've seen it a couple times before. Um, this guy does not have high-level heroes, but his, his walls are pretty decent. Uh, the issue, right, is you don't want your troops to go in a circle. So he deploys uh, some golems right here. Uh, he's coming in from the south. He's pretty patient here before he deploys the Valks. Uh, he deploys a bunch of wizards and drops that quake to open up access to the middle. I think here's about the time where he says to himself, Oh crap, why didn't I bring any wall breakers? But he planned ahead and brought him in his clan castle. Um, I, I don't think that's really a good idea. and That's okay. I think we'll see it works out just fine for him here. So uh, right now he's going to drop his wall breakers as well as three max Valks coming out of the clan castle. Problem is because that wall is not broken, those Valks are going to go around the outside. Uh, the Golems are going to go in. We're going to see they're still drawing a lot of fire. Um, he's pathed well, so his heroes are going to go straight in as long as those last couple wizards. Um, he's kind of lucky here that he just has a couple uh, ground units. So he does that rage there on his kill squad, makes short work of the queen, the, the, uh, the witches in there. Those Valks go straight in, kill the town hall, those expos, just unbelievably fast. Um, so he actually brought a ton of Valks in this raid. Like I said, he had uh, 15, I believe, and they just worked their way around. He's got another raid to help him get through the wall at the north. He dropped a couple hogs in on the left. Not really a Govaho, more of just a Max Valks here. Um, so just they absolutely destroy those defenses. And uh, we can see he's used all his spells, and, and even though the Valks pathing's not ideal here, he still has about seven or eight at, at least Valks. Um, and just really one more component of defense, and he has his queen, and then the Golemites coming in from the other side. So uh, those last couple defenses, we're going to speed this up a little, are going to be no match for the Valks. Um, once they cut through the last couple buildings out there, uh, they're going to go ahead and make their way in, and supported by queen, they're just going to rip through these last couple defenses on his way to a three-star. So pretty good. Um, you know, he, he had some things in this attack that I think could have been improved on, you know, with wall breakers and I really prefer Heal to Rage with Valks. I probably would have brought Rage, but he still just annihilated this base and kind of provided a really good blueprint for how we should approach this and path well. So, cool. Good three-star. Thanks for watching, guys.